It's a 47-year-old male patient, so it's a man, and he presents with uh, swelling of the joints of the hand and feet, and uh, it's, it's getting worse, and also he reports of psoriasis of the skin. C CRP is not so much elevated. So if you, if you look here, what can you see? I think what you see is there's no demineralization at the joints, so the uh, matrix of the bone looks okay. In order to really find out what you can see, I recommend comparing it to the other side. So if you have the option on your packs to have both hands together, you should do that. And if you do it, you might be able to see the difference at the third MCP joints. So if you look at the third MCP joint uh, on the right and on the left, you can see that on the right it looks very nice and on the left it is fluffy. We see here um, there's ill-defined contours also here. The joint space is well preserved, there's no erosion so it's in very early stage. And um, if we look further and compare also the wrist, so you see on the right the joint contours and the joint spaces at the wrist, they are okay. Also on the left side. But if you look closely on the contour of the bone, of the uh, shaft of the first metacarpal bone, the trapezoid bone, scaphoid bone, and if you compare to the other side, you see there is this bony reaction over here that, that we call um, that we call periosteal new bone formation. We also uh, made it uh, visible in our app, so you can um, you can see it in uh, in detail on yourself. You can we have made it uh, with blue markings, so you see there is this proliferation over here, even there, and um, that's uh, it's a very subtle finding. So it's let's say four different sites. I don't know how long you need in order to detect it, but you need to compare it left and right, and you really make, need uh, to take your time in order to find it out. So let's check on the uh, feet of this patient. So the left foot and the right foot. So what can we see here? I think we should uh, enlarge it a bit in order to check what's going on. And uh, it's always important to compare. So first thing what, what uh, is evident is the soft tissues. So the big toe is really a big toe. So there might be soft tissue um, inflammation. And if you look at the MTP joints, you can see for instance that if you compare the right side with the left side, there's something missing on the left side marked here in, in yellow. So there's some erosion on the left side. I will enlarge it a bit more. So you need to take a closer look and you see there is the smooth contour of the bone. It's no longer there. It would go like this. It's not here, so there's an erosion. And um, also what you can see is some defect over here. And um, if we compare it uh, uh, with the MTP joints second to fourth way, you see the normal contours here and there are all over uh, bony proliferations at the basis of the, of the basal phalanges and there are also some joints already with uh, erosions. And at the big toes we have new bone formation and also soft tissue swelling. So you see in psoriatic arthritis, um, it's all happening at the periosteum and at the edge of the bone. So you need to look for changes at the edge of the bone and they are coming before there is an erosion. In this example, we already have erosive destruction, so bony loss due to the synovitis and also proliferation due to enthesitis. So these are the two components in psoriatic arthritis. Mm -hmm.